So I wake up today and the rumor reports around Canon is going crazy. Now we're sort of getting ideas on what announcement date of an R1, uh, and where we're supposed to specifically get an announcement and potentially a release date. That's interesting, but I honestly don't care about that. Doesn't really, to me, fit a cinematographer's. The more interesting report that has came out to me is the rumored of a new camera that has been registered. And, uh, the reason why is because the last time something like this was very similar or being registered was the R5C, indicating that there's potentially a brand new cinema camera that is going to be announced not so far in the distant futures. And I actually believe that they will be announcing a cinema camera. I'm going to give my guess on when we'll probably hear the announcement. What, and I'm going to also dissect some of the reports and some of the things you've probably been hearing from other YouTubers and my thoughts on it from a filmmaker and cinematographer's perspective. What's going on everybody? My name is James Jackson. If you're new here, I do tips, ticks, news, and reviews for the film and video making industry. So if this is content that you like, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can stay up to date on all the content going forth. So now the reports are coming out that Canon has registered a new ILC camera with regulators. And the registration number is ID0179. So it, honestly, it doesn't really tell us anything, uh, but people have suggested and Canon rumors has pointed out that the last time something like this was came out was the R5C with ID0159. Now, obviously with all the talk about the R1, People are speculating that this is maybe an R1C. Like my buddy Simon, who recently just put out a video just earlier today. I'm sorry, Simon, I'm afraid you're wrong on this one, my friend. Uh, and I don't believe it is an R1C. Um, and I'm gonna go into it. Number one, it doesn't really make sense to make an R1C. Uh, I know he brought up the history about the 1DC, but we kind of already had that camera with the uh, with the R3, sort of having sort of the same style. And then we can even talk about the R5C, which for the most part from everything that we've kind of heard about what potentially may be coming with the R1 is a much better filmmaking setup tool than the uh, then potentially what this would be. So I don't really see a reason, especially given the fact that we also know that there's, or at least, sorry, we are rumored to suspect that there is an R5 Mark II coming. To me, an R1C style camera to be announced with the R1 makes zero sense to me whatsoever. I, I see no reason to make a camera like that. There's nothing about that I've read about the R1 that suggests to me that a, a R1C, just because it tacks on some UI interface, makes it better. And we've already also seen this whole thing with the R5C, which was kind of like, well, why would you buy the R5C outside of maybe you're not having to deal with overheating compared to the R5? People still thought the R5 and the R5 was far more popular than the R5C. And even with the cinema line of cameras, the C70 is significantly more popular than the R5C, and that is a Super 35 camera. So the full frame thing to me doesn't really matter. So an R1C doesn't make sense. But again, I do believe they are going to announce a cinema camera. And I will say very, very, very soon. And the reason why I suspect that is because there's a very prominent video oriented event that is coming in a couple of weeks and that is the BSC Expo also known as the British Society of Cinematographers so outside of City Gear in the United States this is probably one of the biggest film oriented expo slash conventions to come out annually each year and given that that's only coming up, I believe it's from the 14th to the 16th of this month. So it's only a, like a little bit over a week and a half away. It is very likely that's where we'll hear the announcement of whatever this camera that is registered at. But if it's not the R1C, what do I think it is? 
My guess is it's probably one of the long-awaited rumored cameras like the Canon C90 or a Canon C202 that is rumored to have sort of a similar body design as a red Komodo. To me, that makes far more sense. Even if it's just a Super 35 camera and not a full frame camera, that makes more sense to me for them to announce it because the one area that is really, really lacking in terms of their cinema line cameras in the RF mount line is the fact that there isn't a real high-end video camera. Now, before I get my fellow C70 uh, owners come at me, what I mean by that is there are certain things that are expected of having a cinema camera. One of them is having two video source outs, particularly at least one of them being SDI because you're going to be working with a first AC who needs to be pulling focus and HDMI has a lot more lag compared to SDI, which is almost instantaneous. It's better for full-fledged production environments. Another thing is higher end media cards. The C70 has SD cards, which you could go to V90, which you can still capture a lot of great data, but CF Express cards, is, especially since coming from the C500 and C300 uh, Mark III, lines that is sort of what we kind of want to have more aligned with a camera that's in the rf mount but we don't have that and then lastly is uh actual full-size xlr cables instead of the xlr midis which you need to start adding more you have to adapt your cables to it so for me something more of the lines of like a c200 mark ii is the more likely thing we will hear probably in the next couple of weeks about this camera and it is not going to be necessarily an r1c but again i need to remind you all that all of these are just rumors none of this has been confirmed by canon whatsoever so always take these things with a great assault but i would love to know what you guys think let me know leave your comments down below and as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, take care, everyone.